What just happened? Max Verstappen finally wins the big one. He is the 2021 Formula One world champion. But the thing is, it didn't end in the way that you or I thought it would end. Now, without further ado, let's talk about it. How's it going guys and welcome to the very first video of my new format. I'm Julius and we're going to be talking about Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton. Now before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you guys can be the first to watch my new videos. And now, let's talk about the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Now coming into the race, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton are tied on points. This means that if either driver wins the race, they will become the world driver's champion. Max Verstappen started on pole, while Lewis Hamilton started on the front row in second place. Lights out and away they went as Hamilton jumped Verstappen at the start. Verstappen attempted an overtake on Hamilton at turn 6, nudging him wide off the track. Hamilton carried on in the lead as the stewards decided not to investigate. Then on lap 13, Verstappen comes into the pits for a fresh set of hard tires, with Hamilton coming in a lap later. From there, Sergio Perez took the lead of the race. When Hamilton finally comes out of the pits, Perez did what Ocon couldn't do, defending from a charging Mercedes on his rear. For about two laps on laps 20 to 21, Perez and Hamilton battled wheel to wheel, but Verstappen was closing in on a two. After Hamilton overtook Perez at turn six, Perez then gave way for Verstappen to attack Hamilton. However, Verstappen wasn't able to attack, thus the gap gradually extended again. On lap 25, Kimi Raikkonen retired from his 349th and final F1 race with a break by wire problem. Soon after, George Russell retired from his final race as a Williams driver with a gearbox issue. Afterwards, Antonio Giovinazzi retired from the race on lap 33 with a gearbox issue. This retirement caused a virtual safety car. Red Bull used the virtual safety car as a chance to box for Stappen for a fresh set of the hard tires without losing track position, while Hamilton opted to stay out. Verstappen, on fresh rubber, gradually reduced his deficit, but it still wasn't enough for him to catch Hamilton before the end of the race. Then, on lap 51, Nicholas Latifi crashed at turn 14 bringing out the safety car. Verstappen pitted for a fresh set of the soft tires, while Hamilton opted to stay out once again. In the midst of this period, Sergio Perez retired from the race, practically handing Mercedes the Constructors' Championship. This safety car period would turn the whole race upside down, as before the end of the safety car, conflicting messages were given by race control on whether lap cars would be able to unlap themselves from the leader behind the safety car before the restart. This idea was initially refused, but was later partially reversed on lap 57, with the lap cars sitting between Hamilton and Verstappen allowed to pass the safety car. The safety car came in at the end of the penultimate lap, allowing for a one lap race. Just enough for Verstappen to overtake Hamilton for the lead, for the win, and for the championship. Verstappen overtook Hamilton into turn 5 and fought Hamilton's counterattacks. Crossing the line in first, Max Verstappen won the race and his first world championship. Hamilton came in second, only two seconds behind the newly crowned champion. Carlos Sainz of Ferrari finished third, his fourth podium of the season. AlphaTauri drivers Yuki Tsunoda and Pierre Gasly finished fourth and fifth respectively, while Alfa Romeo bound Valtteri Bottas finished sixth in his final race for Mercedes. Lando Norris of McLaren finished seventh, while the Alpine pair of Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon finished in 8th and 9th respectively, as Charles Leclerc of Ferrari finished in 10th and last in the points. Other classified finishers included Sebastian Vettel in 11th, Daniel Ricciardo in 12th, Lance Stroll in 13th, Mick Schumacher in 14th, and Sergio Perez in 15th. Despite retiring, Perez completed more than 90% of the race distance to be classified. Mercedes have protested the results of the race on two counts. One for Max Verstappen for overtaking under the safety car and for the fact that they believe Michael Massey didn't follow the correct procedure by only allowing cars in front of Max Verstappen to unlap themselves before resuming the race on lap 57. Both protests have been thrown out by the stewards and Mercedes have announced their intentions to appeal. All right. So, in my opinion, the race overall was fantastic before the race director ruined it with the constant rule changing. I mean, there was no consistency. First Brazil, then Qatar, then this race. But you know what? This race was the perfect way to crown a new world champion in Max Verstappen. And everything that took place over the course of this season was compressed into this one race here. Hamilton's dominance. Perez's hard charging, the kerfuffle by the stewards and the race director, and finally, Verstappen's ruthlessness. And you know what? I was rooting for Hamilton to win and 
break the all-time record held by Michael Schumacher. But today, Max deserved it more, and he's shown throughout the entire season that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the very best in the sport. You could say that it's like a changing of the guard with, with the legend passing the baton to the young gun. Lewis equally deserved the win and the championship as well since he's proven that he is still one of the best drivers on the grid, driving one of the best cars on the grid, despite being the elder statesman on the grid. So. I want to ask you guys, what did you guys think of this race? And do you guys agree with Mercedes appealing the stewards decision? Let me know down below. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I want to do more of these videos constantly, alright? I want to do this on a constant basis. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you guys can be the first to watch my videos. I honestly can't believe that the 2021 F1 season is already over. I'm glad it ended in spectacular fashion and I, can, and I don't want it any other way, okay? And are you guys looking forward to the next season? Are you guys looking forward to Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen duking it out again? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.